Now let's remap and erode the terrain. So this is where we left off uh, with the visualization of the network. And what we're going to do is insert some extra nodes earlier on in the flow of, of this network. So you set the display flag back on the height field noise and then click on a height field remap node. Now we had done this earlier to one of the specific layers. Now we're going to do it for the whole, all of the 3D. So we're going to change it to, from 0 to 300. Uh, so we're taking the negative 179 to 86 and we're changing it. So that heightens it a little bit and creates the look that we want. What we then see is that there's a ramp where we can literally go in and tinker with the parameters on this. So we're going to put an extra point in. And we're going to go 0.25 with a value of 0.25. Now that then we click another point and we're going to put the position at 0.4 and the value at again 0.25. And this creates a little plateau area, um, a little flat area in the center of all that, and that creates a a sort of feature in the landscape that we can work with. Then we can go in and erode and do a height field erode, specifically uh, tied to this uh, ramp that we have. And we can compute range and press play. And this is going to create the erosion going down like this. And this adds a sort of weathered look to the landscape that specifically is a direct reaction to everything that's going on uh, in here. And if we go down to the final node, you'll see we see the plateau there. And that creates the look that we need for the landscape. And you can take areas like, for instance, we can change this to the water. And if we want to change the color of that to blue, the sort of pools of water that occurred during the erosion would now be highlighted um, in this texture.